So let me solve one more problem on simple stresses and strains. Find the stress strain elongation of a steel rod 1 meter length of 20 mm in diameter when it is subjected to an axial pull of 50 kN. So take Young's modulus of the material as 200 giga Newton per meter square. So this is the problem. So diameter of the specimen 20 millimeter whereas length of the specimen 1 meter so which is equivalent to 1000 millimeters and it is subjected to an axial pull of 50 kilonewton. So 50 into 10 raised to 3 newton. Next, Young's modulus of the material it is 200 giga newton per meter square. So 200 into giga means 10 raised to 9 newton per meter square. So already you know 1 meter which is equal to 1000 millimeter. So 200 into 10 raised to 9 divided by so 1000 millimeter square so 1000 square can be written as 10 raised to 6 so it will be 200 into 10 raised to 9 divided by 10 raised to 6 so 10 raised to 9 divided by 10 raised to 6 so it will be 200 into 10 raised to 3 Newton per millimeter square. So like this, you have to convert the Young's modulus. So let us calculate the cross-sectional area. So pi d square by 4. So diameter denotes the cross section is circular. So pi into 20 square divided by 4. So it will be 314.15 millimeter square. Next calculate the stress. So stress sigma equals load divided by area. So load will be 50 into 10 raised to 3 Newton divided by. So your cross sectional area will be 314.15 millimeter square. So if you solve this, you will get stress as 159.15 newton per millimeter square next to calculate the strain so strain epsilon equals Young's modulus e divided by sorry so strain epsilon equals sigma divided by Young's modulus so sigma stress will be 159.15 divided by Young's modulus of the material. It is 200 into 10 raised to 3. Here stress will be in Newton per millimeter square and your Young's modulus will be in Newton per millimeter square. So this will be cancelled. So you will get strain as 7.95 into 10 raised to minus 4. Next will be your elongation. So delta L. So in some textbooks, delta L can also be written as DL. Okay. So delta L equals 
PL divided by AE. So here PE is load 50 into 10 raised to 3 Newton multiplied by length of the material is 1000 millimeter divided by cross sectional area of the material is 314.15 square millimeter multiplied by Young's modulus 200 into 10 raised to 3 Newton per millimeter square. So if you solve this, you will get delta L as 0 0.795 millimeter. Okay. So these are my final answers. One is stress, strain and elongation delta L.